What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are continuing our off meta tear in the series 13 ladder, but this time using an Alolan only team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, it goes a long way. I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. But I've been seeing this team actually across the rank ladder a decent amount of bit. For an off meta team, I've been seeing this team a good bit. And I was just like, yo, I got to give it a try. It definitely looks cool, especially with the Life of Prima Rima and the Necrozma and the Lunala. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's video. But with that out of the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Necrozma. It's got Prison Armor as its ability, alongside that Weakness Policy as its item. It's got Sun Seal Strike, Earthquake, Rock Blast, and Trick Room for a moveset. Second Pokemon is going to be Lunala. Lunala is just super bulky, and I feel like it is definitely very strong when you use it with the Power Herb and you get that special attack boost, but in this case, we do not have the Power Herb on it. We're rocking a Cobra Berry, alongside with the Shadow Shield as its ability, and then we got Moon Geist Beam. Wide Guard to protect our Pokemon from double hitting moves, Trick Room, and will o to burn physical attackers. Middle left is going to be our heavy hitter, and that is going to be Prima Arena over here. You don't really get to see Prima Arena too much on the rank ladder anymore, so it's definitely going to be a fun Pokemon to use. It's got Liquid Voice, alongside with Life Orb as its item, and it's rocking Hyper Voice, Moon Blast, Water Pledge, and Protect. Fourth Pokemon is going to be Incineroar. Nice, nice, what should I say? Nice support Pokemon. It kind of threw me off when I looked at its moveset. It's U turn and set us, uh, Part and shot. Definitely weird, but it'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> Intimidate, Assault Vest as item. Then you got Flare Blitz, Snarl, Fake Out, and you turn for its moveset. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Silk Valley over here. Really cool Pokemon, and it is definitely going to be awesome to use with this Choice Scarf right here because it does have Parting Shot. So you can actually outspeed most Pokemon. Use Parting Shot with that Choice Scarf, dip out, and then constantly do that and get that attack and special attack drop. It also has Snarl, Grass Pledge, and Icy Wind for its other three moves. Final Pokemon is going to be Kartana. Kartana is a really strong physical attacker in this game. It's got the Beast Boost ability, alongside with the Focus Sash as, as its item, and then its moveset is really strong with Leaf Blade, Sacred Sword, Aerial Ace, and Protect. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that right double ladder, look to get some wins with this Alolan only team. First match coming at you guys, and I finally found a ranked battle. I haven't been able to find ranked battles in a couple of days. I don't know why. I guess the Pokemon system is just acting weird, or a lot of people are not playing Series 13. But this is a full ranked battle with a really cool team right here. This guy's rocking Eternatus, Zekrom, Kiram White, and then he's got Marshadow, uh, Umbreon, and Corviknight. So this match is actually awesome. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this one. It's not like that typical Series 13 meta match. We got two off meta teams, but how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I mean, he has a decent amount of physical attackers. I feel like Incineroar could be a solid lead, but then we can't fake out a lot of them because a Umbreon is in her focus. He has Pokemon that he can Dynamax. He also has Marsh Shadow. So what do I want to do here? I could go into Silk Valley, maybe just Parting Shot and Wall from there. Or I could go into a Pokemon more so like Primarina. Hmm, I could pop a Trick Room. What's the average speed here? Trick Room might be the play. I want to pop Trick Room 98, 140. I think Trick Room's going to be your play. I think we lead a Pokemon like... Oh, we might not even need Trick Room. We could go right here. I think we go in with these two. So Valley Kartana. Bring Primarina in the back end and then a Pokemon like the Krozma. I'm actually about it. Because I can actually Grass Pledge Pokemon with that Chewy Scarf. And Kartana is rather fast. I can change their type into Grass and then dominate them with the Airship move. I'm kind of I'm with that. I'm kind of with that. And then get Beast Boost on top of that. That wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad. But let's see. Let's see how he leaves this one. That could depend on our play. That could definitely depend on our play, but he's going to end up leading to these two. Okay, um. Huh. He does have inner focus. I mean, what should I do here? I could parting shot out here. Parting shot wouldn't be bad at all. Turbo Blaze is going to come in hot here. I could change that thing's type in the grass. Hmm. What do I want to do? Or I can straight up parting shot. I mean, Snarl's not bad here either, but is that thing physical attacking? I think it's actually going to be a special attack. So, you know what? I'm just going to drop a special attack. And I could actually protect here, or I could just stay in here and go after some brown. Which I might do, use my Focus Ash this turn. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to use my Focus Ash and save my Dynamax. So we know he's probably Dynamaxing that, uh, Regiram right there. And that Regiram is kind of scary with the fire moves. Yep, there's Dynamax. So he's going to go for a Flare into my, uh, into my, what's it, whatchamacallit. What is that Pokemon's name? I can't even think of the, my, uh, Kartana. Which is going to bring it down to Focus Ash, right? I mean, unless he's going for a Wormwind, but I highly doubt that. 
I just see flare all day, which I don't mind. I don't mind him Dynamaxing and wasting a turn on my focus ash, as long as that Umbreon isn't doubling down into me. But Snarl's gonna fly here, which is really good, dropping that special attack on both of these Pokemon. And I believe this uh, Reshiram is special attacking for the most part, right? Usually Rock Draco Meteor and all that good stuff. But my Kartan is gonna outspeed, we're gonna drop a nice little Sacred Sword, do a nice chunk of damage to a bulky Umbreon. Umbreon is so bulky. There's the fire over into Kartana. Saw that from 65,453 miles away. And then Umbreon is going to go next. So hopefully Umbreon is going into Sil Valley or doing something that doesn't touch my Kartana. That could be a solid turn from us. Let's see how he plays one. He's going to yawn. Who's yawning? I'm fine with that. I mean, I can hard swap here if I want to. I can definitely hard swap or I can just stay in here. But I feel like a Snarl and a Sacred Sword should pick up the KO. He might protect. He might protect. I mean, if he protects, he's just wasting turns. So I'm actually all about this. I'm all about the snarl into the into the sacred sword again. I don't mind going to sleep. I don't feel like wasting a turn here by swapping. Uh, Still, Valley. Like if it goes to sleep, it's not a big deal. It's not like one of our big attackers that we absolutely need. I think we're sitting pretty good here. I mean, weather is kind of tough. I could change it back with Primarina, but I might just end up Dynamaxing my uh, my Necrozma at this point. But we're gonna hope that the Sacred Sword can actually take out this Umbreon. This could be a big time KO for us. And we're gonna see right here. Sacred Sword's gonna fly. Oh, KO, please. Let's go. Big time KO from Kartana. He is going to get that beast boost. And I believe he's gonna go into the speed stat. I'd rather have it go into attack stat, but speed ain't too bad, right? Ooh, attack. It is attack. Nice. Beautiful. Wormwind's gonna fly. That's gotta be in the Sil Valley, right? Yeah, he goes after my Sil Valley. I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm back at normal on attack. We were wasting out these turns all day. I'm all about it. Hopefully there's out another special attacker because Sil Valley can legit just keep snarling. Actually, I forgot. He slumped. He took his night call. He's going to bed. All right. That's fine. Yeah, not a big deal. We're wasting out Dynamax all day. I feel like we're sitting in such a solid spot. He's going to throw out his next Pokemon, which is going to be Marshadow with Shadow Sneak. Uh, I'm going to waste out this last Dynamax turn. Did I just protect. Waste out this last Dynamax turn. Not about it. Because we know he's Shadow Sneaking. 100%, right? He's got to hit the sneaks. He's got to hit the sneaks and go into another worm win across onto my Sil Valley. Yeah, waste out these these turns right here. I don't like where we're sitting. Yeah, I'm just going to protect Kartana. I think the Shadow Sneak is coming in hot. There it is. And again, he's probably just worm winning again. I don't mind. I do not mind. And we're wasting out the sleep turns too. And he's going to Flare. Flare would have done more damage. I'm surprised he went into the worm win to begin with. And we survived Flare. That is gorgeous. That's lovely. So again, he's got a Shadow Sneak here. Um, would it be a right play to end up going into like a like a hard swap? Trying to proc policy? That could be a pretty good play, but I'm just going to stick with the guns here. I'm going to hope that Sil Valley wakes up and maybe we can get off like another Snarl here. But he could actually hard swap out. Just to get that minus two off that Reshiram. We'll see. But Marsh Shadow's kind of a pain. Our Shadow is kind of a pain. I think we have the Dynamax Necrozma. I mean, Prima Arena wouldn't be a bad Dynamax here, but he's going to end up Shadow Sneaking. That's totally fine. That's going to end up KOing me. Hopefully, Sil Valley wakes up and we can get off a Snarl. Just to take off Focus Ash on Marsh Shadow. We do. That's beautiful. Who dodged that? Who dodged that? Did Marsh Shadow dodge that? Please hit Marsh Shadow. Thank you. Okay, cool. Because, I mean, Reshiram's special attack is already in a dumpster. I'm not too worried about it. But I really want to get off that Focus Ash on that Marsh Shadow, which works really good. Okay, so he takes out two of our Pokemon. I'm not worried about the Reshiram. Marshadow, I'm worried about a little bit because it's such a strong Pokemon. But I can go into the lovely little Necrozma here. And I think I'm going to Dynamax Primarina, to be honest with you. And maybe just pop the Trick Room. I might go Trick Room into Primarina getting after it. Right? I feel like that's a good play. I feel like that's a good play, right? I mean, we don't have Protect on this thing, right? We don't. But, uh... Let me see Primarina speed. I think it's rather fast. I don't know if I want to pop a Trick Room with Primarina on the field. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, yeah, we got to pop Trick Room. We're Dynamax and we're pop Trick Room all day. Fight, Trick Room, bang, Dynamax, and who should I get rid of? I think getting rid of uh, the Marsh Shadow is going to do us a little bit better here. Because, again, Reshiram's stats are, are low. He's not hitting too, too hard. But I feel like a Fusion Flare in the heat can definitely do some work. It's definitely scary. But we do have Prism Armor, which does reduce super effective uh, damage. That can help us out a little bit, but my lovely girl Primarina over here. I love Primarina. I think it's like, I think Popolio, it's first stage, gets a lot of hate, but I think it looks dope. Little circus seal. Looks so sick. You're gonna end up going into a Spectral Thief. It's a little scary, but we should soak pretty well. 
we do awesome so we soaked that shot up pretty well i hope that we can pop a trick if we can get this trick mob it is ggs but i think he's gonna be double down into me i think he is gonna be double down into me yep fusion flare comes out here can you soak this up please maybe probably not right no shot yeah he doubles down into me fusion flare coming after me he gets a crit oh oh that hurts. I think we were dead regardless, so I'm not going to blame RNG for this one so far. But still, we have a huge shot here because we're going to take out Marshadow here. We're going to say bye-bye to you. We got that orb. We're gonna, we can take out Reshiram whenever we want. I'm not, again, I'm not worried about the Reshiram. It can't go into dragon moves. It has to go into fire moves into me right now. So I'm just going to keep on going after this right slot. We got plenty of dynamax turns. And the sunlight is gone. The sunlight is gone, so his fire moves are going to do less damage. I'm all about it. I'm all about it, yo. Primarina was the right choice for Dynamax here. Good old Primarina. And I love her little, like, hair tie, yo. It's got pearls and starfish on it. It's rocking out. He's gonna throw out Eternatus, yo. Primarina's rolling out here. Primarina's rolling out here. Do I go after Eternatus? I mean, what's that? Like, Sludge Bomb? I mean, do I just keep attacking that? I feel like we have to attack this slot. Let's do it. Maybe Reshiram protects here. Maybe Reshiram protects, but it sucks. Both these guys are dragon types. But on top of that, oh no, we might lose this. That did a lot more damage than I thought it would. Earth Power's gonna fire. We're soaking that up. We gotta pick up a KO here. Oh no, shot. You got a special defense drop. We gotta pick up a KO here. If we don't pick up a KO here, we lose. That Sludge Bomb did a lot more damage than I thought it would. And we don't pick up a KO. God dang it, man. We're gonna end up losing this battle. Hurts the soul. He turns just gonna come out here, clean this one up. Unless we could dodge this move. I don't think we could dodge it. I should have maybe went for Max Strike. Slow him down, but I think they, the Eternatus might have still been faster than me at that point. But Sludge Bomb comes in here. That's going to be GG's. Not a bad first battle. Battle of the off meta teams here. We end up losing it, but we're going to hop into our second battle and look for our first one. Second battle is coming at you guys. Once again, I cannot find ranked battles. I simply cannot. I searched six times and it kept failing every single time. So we're back on the casual ladder. This guy's rocking out with a really cool team. Makes me not want to bring in any legendaries, but we're going to have to bring in one. So I feel like bringing in like maybe support Lunala would be a bit better. Because I, I would rather beat this guy without using anything. But I could go into Incineroar and Lunala. Maybe pop Trick Room and kind of go from there. I kind of like that. Incineroar, Lunala, Primarina, and I guess we'll bring Cartana because I really don't want so Valley here. I really don't want so Valley, but we're going to try to do a lot of the heavy lifting with Primarina here. Try to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two, but battle number one was super close. That Sludge Bomb did a lot more damage than I thought it would, and I totally forgot that it was Poison type because I thought it was going to roll out there. We were just going to be able to dump on it with a uh, Max Starfall, which kind of sucks, but it'd be like that sometimes. It'd be like that. But let's see what he does here. Let's see what he ends up leading. Let's see how he goes into it. I could see an angry point Tauros here. This guy has a pretty cool team. He does have Gyarados too, which could be Moxie or uh, Intimidate. But he's going to go into Landorus and Arcanine. So double Intimidate coming out here. Um, I think I just burned the... I, I could pop the Trick Room. Trick Room could be, but... I think I should pop the Trick Room before I start throwing burns out. Yeah, I think I just fake out here. Wow, so many Intimidates though. I think I just fake out and I go into a Trick Room. I think that's my play all day. Or I could U-turn. I could definitely U-turn here. But I feel like they don't have the power to take out my Lunala. Hmm. Definitely trick him on this slot. I don't know if I should go into the fake out or the U-turn. I'm leaning a bit towards, more towards the fake out here. So I'm just going to pick out the Arcanine. Because if he's going to Dynamax Pokemon, I feel like Landers has got to be that Pokemon, right? Let's see what he does. There's a Dynamax. Please be the Lando. Please be that lovely little Lando. Or it could be Arcanine. Could definitely be Arcanine. Let's see. There's a Lando. So great call from us. We end up getting off this fake out. I mean, Trick Room is going to be easily poppable here. And I think I just... He's going to quake into me. So I'll get off this Trick Room. I'll burn him next turn. And we'll kind of go from there. So I really, really like. So fake out's going to go here. Mwah! Give him a little clap skis. And I kind of want him to take me out. Because at this point, he takes me out. I can just pop into Pre-Marina with this Trick Room. And we can roll from there. So, and he can't even take me out. Yo, what a wimp. What a wimp. He can't hit hard. He's stinky. It smells, man. Oh, he's going to grant a special defense boost. Ah, that's I it, I guess. I mean, Primarina could do so much work. I really wish he took us out at this point. I really do wish. We should have U-turned there. U-turn was 1,000% to play. But uh, from here, I'm just going to Will-O-Wisp you. The burn on you. And... Mm, mm, do I hard swap? I think I hard swap. In the pre... Is if I hard swap into Primarina, he's just gonna be able to. 
Ah, I hate this game. I really don't like this game one bit. I'm still gonna hard swap. I'm gonna save my instant armor. I'll die next next turn. Kind of a lot strong. I mean, I know he's gonna get those special defense boosts, but we are gonna be able to throw a burn over onto this Pokemon. It is already minus one, which is good. So we're really banking on this Will O Wisp landing. I'm gonna go for that Quake. He actually out speeds. That's a little weird. That's a slow, that's a slow, slow Lando. That is a slow, slow Lando. Will O Wisp does land, which is huge, so next turn. It won't do too much damage, and I'm still on the side of Dynamax, and Arcanine's gonna Snarl. We're gonna Cobra Berry, and that Snarl's tough. But I have in the back, and I might save my Dynamax now for Cartana. Might be my better play here. Might be my better play. Um, okay. Hmm. Could wide guard that, these shots, but, uh, I feel like we save our Dynamax at this point. We go into Moon Guys Beam, and I can just pop a Liquid Voice on these guys. I could change typing too, but... I like these guys with the typing they have. So I'm just gonna pop this move right here. We're at minus one, which hurts, man. That hurts. That does hurt. I really, really wish Premier or Incineroar died that first turn, but Hyper Voice is gonna fly here. Do a decent amount of damage. Nothing too crazy. We're gonna lose some life orb damage. And he's gonna go for another Max Quake. Get a third special defense boost. So yeah, Dynamax and our physical attack is definitely better for us. And wow, we're able to soak that like it's nothing. We're able to soak that like, like it's nothing, but low battery. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit, you guys know I keep the charger on me at all times. Always plugged in for these reasons. We got it right here. We got it right here. I keep it on me. I keep it on me. Look at that. Right back in charge. We're ready to go. We're ready to go. Keep it rolling here. Arcanine's going to take some damage to that move. And she's going to snarl again like a little coward. Like a little coward, but that is the right play to make. You coward. <laughs> but Dynamax turns are wasted. We still have all of our Pokemon. Kind of like where we're sitting. Not too bad. Is this like leftovers? Leftovers on the Lando? Alright. I feel you. I see you. I see you, big dog. Dynamax turns are over. Fine with that. I mean, there's plus three on special attack, which kind of sucks. But the burn is chipping. I'm just going to keep going after you. And I could start Water Pledge, but Water Pledge just changes type. Oh, wait. Wait, when used with a fire equivalent, the power increases. Oh, this does damage? I did not know. I thought it just changes their typing, right? A column of water hits the target. When used with its fire equivalent, the power increases and a rainbow appears. I I thought it just changes typing. I'm kind of still down just going to hyper voice because it is water. Do liquid voice. But I really do like this move. That's some nice damage to the Arcanine. If we get off a of Moonlight Beam here, we will be able to take it out, which is huge. We can just kind of go from there. He's got a sword dance. What a coward. How dare you? So now he's plus one on attack. He's still burned. He's still burned, but uh, I think my Cartana once this, uh, what's called ends. My Cartana can outspeed. But we're going into Moon Guys Beam. That should say bye bye to Arcanine. Lando is kind of annoying here. But I'm kind of just waiting for his Trick Room to kind of end here. Right? Because once this Trick Room ends, I bring out Cartana, I Dynax, I kind of wall pretty strong. But Burn is neglecting its leftovers damage, which is really good. And I don't know if I go after Lando here. He might go into it yet another. Yet another Sword Stance, which, which wouldn't probably be the smart play. But I could Dynamax Primarine here. Obviously, the Fake Out is coming in hot. But I think I'm just going to swap into Incineroar at this point. Could definitely swap into Incineroar. But how many turns left in this Trick Room? Let's check it out. One. Incineroar might be the swap play. Swap for Intimidate, or do I save it? I think we swap. He's going to fake out. I know, we want to swap the what's called. We would love to swap the... The Primarina here. We know the fake out's coming into that slot. I might as well keep my Primarina alive. We might fake out and go for Swords Dance. So I'd rather just Intimidate, bring this thing back to uh, even on the attack board, and minus one onto uh, the instant war. It's a great battle. It's a great battle. A really solid battle all around. So Intimidate's going to fly here. Lovely Intimidate. Attack's gonna drop. And is this gonna get Swords Dance again? He's gonna go for Snarl. No fake out. It's surprising. That is definitely surprising. Let's see what he does here. He's gotta be going for another Swords Dance, right? Makes the most sense. Yeah, he goes for another Swords Dance. So he's plus two. He's plus two right now. Once this thing goes down, once this Lunala goes down, I mean, I bring out Cartana, and I feel like I can roll out strong with Cartana. 
I feel like Cartana can really do some work if we can get rid of that Incineroar. Actually, Incineroar is kind of scaring me. Let me straight up. Incineroar is scaring me. Wow, this thing's so bulky, man. So bulky on the special attack board. That's why I think I just go straight into a flare. What's in that Pokemon right now? I think we have to. Switch the dimensions back to normal. I could wide guard the shot, which I think I'm going to do because I feel like a Snarl is coming in hot. And we're going to go into this thing because he might even Sword Stance again. He might even Sword Stance again, which kind of scares me. Hmm. Let's see. So I'm going to wide guard here. I think Snarl might come out again. Just to take out Lunala. Goes for a rock. Oh, that's a beautiful wide guard from Jeans. Rock slide and snarl. Show me rock slide and snarl. Rock slide and snarl, baby. Oh, the wide guard. The wide guard. That's a big wide guard play. Coming in high. I was just predicting the snarl, not the rock slide. What if it's going to fly? Can this KO? Oh, that's close. That's some close damage right there. Do I pop the trick room? Nah, I don't pop the trick room. Wow. Uh, do I wide guard? I'm gonna wide guard again. Same thing. Same place, jeans. Same place. Same place, baby. The real question is, I might even Dynamax Supreme Arena, depending on the situation, because I'm scared this Incineroar just take me out one shot. I really am. Brick Brick coming in. You little biscuit. You rocking Brick Break. Get out of my face with that. He's rocking Brick Break, and I think he's just gonna flare what's here. Pick up the double kill, right? Now he goes for Dark Slayer. Smart play by him. I mean, I couldn't really do anything. He outsped my Pokemon. But the question is, do I Dynamax Supreme Arena here? I mean, I still Focus Ash, which is really, really good for us. Um, hmm. I think I'm Dynamax my, my Kartana here. I think I have to Dynamax Kartana here. Go for a Steel Spike, get that attack boost, and then kind of go after that Incineroar with the Max Level. I think that's gotta be my play, right? I think that's gotta be my play. I think it's all about the Dynamax here. We go for a defense boost or an attack boost. I feel like the attack boost gives us a bit more. And I think this should be able to pick up the KO. Yeah, I'm gonna go for an attack boost here. I think we're fine on speed. And then I just go into a hyper voice here. This one's gonna be close. This one is gonna be close. It really depends who he has in the back end. Right? So he's probably just flare blitzing into my Kartana. I think Kartana outspeeds the landers. So we can pick up the KO onto that. Then we can trigger Focus Ash, and then we might have a shot here. It's going to be close. This is going to be a close battle, a really close battle. Really close battle. But we're not doing so hot right now with a loss. But again, they're close losses. We're going to knuckle for that attack boost because I got to be able to take out Instant War in one shot. So I pick up the KO here. I am going to get another attack boost on top of that due to, be uh, due to the beast boost ability. And the Liquid Voice is going to fly. Does Primarina outspeed that? Incineroar, that could be a big place for us if Primarina can. If Primarina can outspeed that Incineroar, that could be a really big place for us. And it does not. But Flare Blitz going to fire. We are Sash. And we don't even need our Sash. That's actually really big. And Liquid Voice, maybe, just maybe pick up this KO. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Primarina. I love you. Big time KO onto the Incineroar. I was really worried about him. And I might get a speed boost and go into an uh, Airstream. If I have to. Just to like make Primarina faster. He's gonna go into Tauros, but I feel like I just knuckle drop this, right? Intimidate's gonna come out here. That's fine. We're plus one still. And I think like we just max knuckle, right? I have speed on this thing. Max knuckle's definitely a play. Max knuckle onto that, and then what does more damage? Nice, lovely moon blast into the Tauros. That ain't bad. That ain't bad. What a play by us at the end. Bringing out that Kartana, slow playing our Dynamax. I think that's gonna. Oh, you outspeed me. But we eat! I love it. You outspeed. That's a fast little Tauros there. It's a real fast Tauros. I was going to say my Kartana is really fast. But Max Knuckle comes through there. We make some great plays at the end. And we pick up a win in battle number two. Time to hop into battle number three. And look for that winning record for you guys. Third and final battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a tough, tough Trick Room team here for battle number three. This guy's got Palkia alongside with Copycat Rylu and Coaching Rylu. Either or. And then he has the, uh, the Alga Dust Cops. Calyrex and last but not least he's rocking with a Tapu Finny. Okay, so we could definitely see a max guard into a copycat and they kind of roll from there But um, how should I play this? I definitely gotta bring my slower Pokemon, right? 
a slower Pokemon can do a lot of work. We might lead Primarina here. I kind of really like Primarina as a lead. So I'm going to end up leading that Pokemon. And then I am going to go into... Bum, 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 bum. Probably... Probably Sil Valley here. A lot of special attackers. I kind of think Sil Valley here. We can Snarl up. If not, we can just Party Shot dip out and kind of go from there. So I kind of like this lead. I kind of do like this lead. Actually, I don't know. He's, he, hmm, we might want to go in Cinnamon instead and maybe just U-turn out. But I think Palkia is going to be the lead. I could go into more of a Pokemon like Necrozma, somebody who really benefits from Trick Room. Which I think is going to be fine. Bring Kartana in the back end and then have Incineroar just for those physical attackers. Yeah, I'm digging that a bit more. I'm digging that a bit more, but this battle's looking like it's going to be tough. It's definitely like it's going to like it's going to be tough because if he pops Trick Room, then gets out the Alga and Ice Rider Calyx, bruh, wrap it up. It's GG's. He's just going to rip onto me. It's going to be a no problem victory for him. Let's see who he ends up leading. I think it's going to be Palkia Rylou, right? Palkia Rylou? Okay, this could definitely be another copycat trick room kind of thing. Which I think it is going to be, so I might just go straight after that. Um, I could cancel out the trick room. But I feel like we benefit from the trick room, too. I think like trick room we definitely benefit from. I'm not going to waste a Dynox turn right here. I think I just go straight into this Rylou slot. Right, this thing might be focused Ash, so I'm just gonna double down into it. But I think the Dynamax Max Quake or Dynamax Max Guard into the copycat Trick Room combo could definitely come out of here. Right? It makes the most sense. I mean he's not gonna coach this thing unless it's a physical attacking Dialga, but what are the chances of that? Oh no shot! No no yo, whoa! Hold up! No shot! Yo! No shot! He just protected his Pokemon. Yo, get on out of my face with that! Get on out of my face with that. <laughs> Bro, this game. Do me dirty. Do me so dirty. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to Dynamax you and I'm just going to start quaking. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That hurts the soul, man. <laughs> Getting outplayed like that. That definitely hurts. I'm sitting there. I'm like, oh, he's going to copycat. Probably protect the Diaga. Protects the wide loop. Right in my face. Right in my face. Smart little play. Fire our opponent there. He's gonna end up Dynamax Tiaga. We're gonna Dynamax the Crows, but hopefully he can pop my weakness policy and kinda get after it. But we shall see. We shall see. I think a steel spike is definitely flying through from him into my Primarina. So Primarina, rest easy, baby. <laughs> rest easy. Because if I had to guess, it's probably Life Orb Diaga, or it could be weakness policy, but Life Orb seems to be Diaga's as of recently. But we'll see. I'm gonna Dynamax my Necrozma. We're gonna roll from there. See what it does. Vacuum wave coming in hot. There it is. The weakest policy on him. Okay. Yeah. No bueno. No good. Hurt soul. Hurt soul. Primarina, can you outspeed to get off turn? You do. Awesome. Primarina gets off turn before it goes out here. Moonblast gonna fly here and just dump on the Rylou, but it has Focus Ash. Sucks, man. God dang, Focus Ash. Not a fan. Not a fan of the Sash. At least we can spot propped. He's gonna go for the steel spike. That's like I said in the pre arena. Yeah, sorry, honey. You gone. See you later. He gets the defense boost. Uh, we're gonna go into a quake here. Not gonna do too much damage here, but we get a special uh, defense boost on top of that. Hmm. So the real question is, do I go into Incineroar after this? I don't want to. I don't want to just go straight into Incineroar here. Incineroar. I could fake out and take out the Rylou. Let me see your speed real quick. What is your speed, little Tony the Tiger? 67. You are definitely slower than Primarina. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna go into Incineroar. And I we have a Soul Vessel, which is good, but I really think that this Rylou protects to kind of keep it alive from the fake out. So I'm just gonna go straight into a Fire Blitz into the uh, Dialga and just get after the Dialga slot. Right? Another Quake. Another uh, nice little Fire Blitz. Double down into it. Kind of go from there. And then take out the. Oh, I could Snarl. I kind of think the Snarl play and the special defense. I like that. I like that a lot more. The Dry Riley doesn't protect, which it does. See, I saw that from like 65,000 miles away. But Flare Boots would have been nice, but the Snarl, I really just, I really like the Snarl. The special attack drop to this uh, Dialga here. It's going to work really well. And then I can just Snarl next turn and take out the Rylou. We kind of go from there. So I don't think this Dialga... Wait, can it take out my... Mm, it's an order. You should be able to soak this up. It's not Stab. It's only plus one and you have a Soul Vest. I love you. I love you. 
baby, and it's quite alright. You guys know that TikTok song? <laughs> Once I said I love you, baby, got stuck in my head. Thought of it right away. But he gets a special defense boost, which I don't mind. We have physical attackers on the field. We're going to chuck up some nice damage. We're going to go into yet another snarl to take out the Rylu so we don't get swept, and then we can go straight after get another special defense boost. Hi, right, I'm about it. Snarl, baby. And then. Ch -ch -ch -ch. There's Steel Spike this time. Nah, I just think getting that special defense boost. I feel like Necro's was rather bulky on the physical attacking side already. He's gonna coach. How dare you? He just wants that defense boost. I think he just wanted that defense boost. Attack's gonna get boosted because it's gotta be special attacking, right? Yeah, because if it was plus two, it would've just been able to dump on my Dialga. But now it's back even on the uh, special attack board. Really good for us. Not too amazing. And now he's just gonna worm one. So he's gonna worm one for that attack drop. It's a really smart play. Nice smart play by him. So attack shop's gonna come out from Necro's but I'm hoping he can pop my weakness bounce. Dude, just pop it already. Just pop it for me. Just so I can rip up India. But Quake's gonna fly here. I think he brings out like Calyx or something, which could be scary. Quake's gonna fly here again. And um Hmm. Only have one more Pokemon. Is that gonna be Cartana? I think I brought Cartana here. Yep, gotta bring the Cartana. I'll meet the Car some Cartana. So there's one more turn left in Trick Room. That works out pretty good for us, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think he's gonna bring out maybe Calyrex here. Yep, that's kind of ugly. And I don't think he doubles down into my Artana. Do, do you think that happens? I would love to just go for my, my Steel Move, take him out, and then take out the Dialga on top of that. I could Steel Spike, I actually could Steel Spike into it. What do I do? Hmm. I don't have a steel move for him. That kind of sucks, though. So looks like we're doing that. I'll just sun seal strike with this. That ain't bad. You might think we're protecting. Could go for the double trick and play. That would... I did that once. That is one of the coolest plays to ever pull off. But if he thinks we're protecting on last turn trick room, he's out of his mind. I kind of hope he does. Because then I just pick up a double kill. We pretty much win this game. And go for Glacial Lance. Okay. The Glacial Lance flies through. We're hoping he's not double down into Cartana. We'll see how some plays. Gonna do some crazy damage to my Cartana. And of course, my soaks up pretty well. Earth Power's gonna fly here. And no! Not. Not my Cartana. Can you just pop my weakness policy already? <laughs> That's all I want. <laughs> so let's see how Shark's gonna fly here. And he has a Babiri Berry. This thing's rocking the Babiris. He's rocking all types of Babiris. But we do have speed after this. How much damage is this really gonna do? Half, maybe? No, not, no, not even close. <laughs> it's like he's bulky. Trick room's gone. One of them's popping trick room, which is scary. Um, could go into the EQ. I think it might be my play. Pop the EQ. Who's going? In, who's protecting and who's trick room? It's one or the other, right? None of them. None of them. None of them's protecting. Him. We can't even take out the Dialga. Mmm. 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 He does not want to pop. He knows I have weakness policy. Little smart booger here. He's gonna steal beat me. This, this other one's got to be popping trick room. So he steel beams. He dies out. And this one's got to be trick room, right? Yeah, yeah. So dang, dude. I could have just popped the sun shield strike. I could have just sun shield strike. Um, who's going to be his final Pokemon? Tapu Finny, maybe? No way it's Dusclops, right? If it's Dusclops, you can start ally switching, which could be a pain. Oh, it's Palkin. I totally forgot. That's GG's in the can. We lose this battle 10 times out of 10. 10 times out of 10. That's going to be GG's. I still want a sun shield strike into this. It's just Calyx to try to pick up a KO onto it, but we already know the Glacial Lance can come out here. We already know probably Special Rend, right? No high horsepower. Wait, that proc policy. But we're dead, right? But we are dead. But we are indeed dead. He made a great play by going into the double down onto the Cartana, because if he didn't, I think we would win the game. Keep my Cartana for an extra turn would be beautiful. Really beautiful. So we go into the Sun Shield Strike, we say see you later to the Calyrex. Palkia is going to say bye bye to us, unless somehow we miss, he misses. Maybe he's going for Hydro Pump. No, he goes for that Earth Power. Can we soak? Probably not, right? Actually, wait a minute. I was going to say we're plus three on special defense, but we're not able to soak that up. But that's going to be GG, ladies and gentlemen. One and two for today's video. Not a bad set of battles. One and two for today's video. All three matches were this close. Came down to the wire. Definitely some solid battles all around. So hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. But Prima Marina rocked out with this whole alone squad. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive every day. I'll catch you on the next one.
Peace out, everybody.